Hey everyone and welcome to a new video with me, Queen Ophelia. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different video again. I wanted to take the time that we're soon halfway through the year, which is crazy, we're already in May. And I've seen a lot of people feel like they haven't read enough. And I wanted to dedicate this video for anyone who feel like they haven't read as much as they wished for this year and i have this feeling all the time i am i feel like i read a lot i read a lot more than people do uh normally uh i work as a librarian in my day-to-day -day life and with that i can read at work uh, but i also read a lot on my own at home uh, I've tried to cut down on my doom scrolling on my Instagram and everything and read more. But if there's something that I have learned is making a hobby into a should hobby makes you not do it. I am someone who can read 400 books in a year and that's crazy. That's like way too much and i do not recommend that you ever get to those lengths i did it two years in a row because i wanted to prove myself that i could so i pushed myself but in the end i at that time i read books just for the fact to read books not because i wanted to read them and i can't say i remember a lot of the books i just picked them up because they were easy to read and i just like speed read through them. Uh, sometimes I felt like that year that I read them just for have read them and to brag about the fact that I can read 400 books in a year. <laughs> but now I just feel like it's such a stupid thing to do. But when you're in a book community and everyone talks about, oh, I read 30 books in a month or I read seven books in a week or 10 books in a week and I read 400 books in a year, you know, you feel a little bit left out and you kind of start feeling, oh shit, I have so many books on my TBR, I need to get through my books, I have so many books I want to read, so many books that I need to read, and it just stacks up on things you feel like you need to do. And I think this is the worst thing that we do, because that puts us in a, like, a mental stage where we it becomes a chore to us. We have to read it. We have to be up to date with everything. And I feel like if we want to read more, we should not force ourselves to read. Like we have, I at least have myself in my head all the time telling me and yelling at me all the things that I have to do in life. You have to work out 30 minutes a day you have to go up at this point you have to do your daily skincare you have to eat this you know you have to be healthy in this you have to drink water this much water you, you know we have so many shoulds every day that we have to do and i feel like adding your hobby of reading to that list is the worst thing we can do if we force ourselves to read we will make the reading experience less enjoyable. And if we make it less enjoyable, we're not going to pick that book up in the end. I remember when I went to the university to be a librarian, we had a lot of reading that we needed to do. And I loved reading. Reading has always been hard for me considering I'm a dyslexic. So reading takes a lot more time for me when, than it might do for other people. And when I was in university, we had so many demands on what to read. And it was legit three books every other day that we had to read. And I just lost that reading joy and I lost my hobby to read. So when I started working as a librarian, I hated books more than anything due to my education and it's it wasn't because books were bad and I didn't like books but it was because I was forcing myself to read 
so many books in such a short amount of time that it just became a chore to me. It was just something I had to do. It was work to me. And after I started working and I didn't enjoy books as much, I started having book circles and book discussion groups and I had to have um, uh, book recommendation events and everything which meant I had to read and analyze books that I didn't myself enjoy but there were good discussion books to have in a circle and that just pushed it on more that I had to keep reading things that wasn't enjoyable for me but I had to do it because of my job which made it worse and worse and worse now I can balance it a lot more in my life, but I feel like it is something worth thinking about. Because today we have a lot of, you have to read all these top recommendations from TikTok. You need to read all these top self-help books. or You have to read these new crime books, otherwise you will be left behind by the book community or whatever. And there's so many musts, so many books are being recommended every day. You can't keep up reading everything. And everything doesn't always appeal to us. We're all different beings. We all different interests. We don't all enjoy the same thing. But at the same time, we don't want to feel left out, right? But if we keep reading things, we don't enjoy is not going to be a hobby anymore and it's going to be a chore and it will be hard picking a book up. I have many times read books I hated and I just I should have DNF them. I should not have finished them because they were laying on my table and I looked at them and I was like, I don't feel like reading. But technically, I did feel like reading. I just didn't feel like reading that specific book. So I feel like if you feel like you're not reading enough, you probably are. You're probably reading tons of things. But if you want to read more, make sure to make reading fun again. Stop reading books just because you feel like you have to read the books. You don't have to read the books everyone is talking about. You don't have to read the books everyone is raving about if it doesn't appeal to you. Pick books you want to read. Pick books that you feel are interesting to you. And if you're one chapter in, one page into a book, or you have read half the book, or 75% of the book, and you just doesn't want to read it. Just DNF it. DNF it. You don't have to finish it. Just move along. Pick another book. Your life shouldn't feel like your reading shouldn't feel like a must. It should just be happy reading. And if it's not happy reading, let go. Life is too short to spend time on books we don't enjoy in our lives. And we just shouldn't force ourselves to enjoy things when we don't. So my recommended thing is if you feel like you're not reading enough, try to pick something that you feel like this is something I will enjoy and try not to try not to listen to the voices that's saying that you're not doing enough or reading enough to be fair there is not such thing as enough I don't think you will feel happier if you decide to read instead of watching a movie. If you feel like you want to watch a movie that evening instead of reading, do it. Do it. You don't have to read. You don't have to read every day. Of course, I, I would love you to read, <laughs> you know? I want everyone to enjoy books and everything. 
but we shouldn't make it into a chore. I've seen a lot of people who do, you have to read one hour every day, you know? And if that works for them, that's amazing. But that makes reading into a chore. And if you can't actually tick that box off every day, you will feel like you haven't accomplished it and like you have failed in your reading. And that's not what reading is. Reading should be a hobby you do for fun and not something that you feel forced to do, in my opinion. I hope this helps anyone out there. If you read one book a year, that's amazing and I'm proud of you. If you didn't read any book at all, but you're still looking to find a good book or you're working your way to find a book, that's amazing. That's cool. That's fine. We should take that weight off from our shoulders. It shouldn't be something we judge each other on. We shouldn't look at people and be like, oh, I read two books this year, but that person read like 200 books and I'm a failure because I can't read as much. No, don't listen to that. It's just your voice in your own head. Any reading is good reading. And if you feel like, you know, reading, you can't have time for reading, try out audiobooks maybe. While you do your daily chores, find a book that sounds interesting and listen to it. Maybe that can help. But never make reading a chore. Because I feel like that's the worst thing we can do. I hope this helps. We're half through the year. I hope it can help you, motivate you how to think the rest of the year and maybe help with some, some new reading goals. Read what makes you happy and do what makes you happy. In the end, that's what all we want, you know? Everyone should be happy. I hope it helps. Have a happy reading time.